Good day learners, this is Easy Engineering. For today's topic, we're going to talk about the mollusks. We love seafood because they have that oceanic and delicious taste, right? Well, fishes are the first that come to mind when we think about seafood, but there is much more other than fish and some of them belong to a class of invertebrates called the mollusks. The word mollusk means soft. They don't have skeletons or exoskeletons. Some have shells made of calcium. Can you guess which animals might be mollusks? If you guessed slugs and snails, you are right. Clumps, mussels, octopus, and squids are also mollusks. Think about it. None of these animals have bones. They are all soft. Fun fact learners, did you know that there are monstrous squids? Most squids are small, but the giant squids can grow up to 55 feet long. That's like three buses long. And their eyes are the size of beach balls, which lets them see in the dark ocean. Most of the ocean deep haven't been discovered yet, so there could be something bigger. Now where can we find the mollusks? Mollusks mostly live in the sea, but others live in fresh water. Some like shallow water along the coast. If you dig up some sand on the beaches, you can find many of them. They are abundant and very delicious. Many mollusks, like the clams, dig into sandy or muddy bottoms. Others prefer deep water like the squids. Some attach themselves to rocks in the ocean like the mussels. Some snails and slugs live on land. They prefer cool, moist places, but they also can be found in cold regions and in dry deserts. What are their physical features? Mollusks vary a lot in their features. Even mollusks of the same type can be very different, like the squid. Some are small like the idea tip of your finger, and some are monstrous. Basically, they have a soft body that holds the heart, liver, digestive system, and other important organs. Most mollusks have a mouth structure called a radula. The radula is sort of like a rough tongue with lots of tiny teeth. There are three types of mollusks. Gastropods are the snails and slugs. They use their foot to crawl. They have no sense of hearing, but they can see and have a keen sense of smell. Bivalves include the clams, scallops, oysters, and mussels. As their name implies, they have two parts of their shell, which can open and close. They also have gills to help them breathe underwater and to capture food as well. Oysters are some of the most delicious seafood. Yum! Cephalopods are the octopuses and squids. They have a set of arms or tentacles. They can also camouflage or change color for defense. They can also squeeze through a coin-sized hole. Cephalopods have three hearts that pump blue blood, and they are thought to be the most intelligent of invertebrates. Someday they could challenge us. Who knows? Most mollusks with shells have a foot. The foot moves them forward by expanding and contracting muscles. Clams also use this foot to dig up or down the sand. It is just called foot because it is just the one foot, not like us that have two feet. Fun fact learners, did you know that some oysters can alternate their gender? That means they could be male in one year and female in the next year. Now what do they eat? Mini mollusks eat mostly algae. They use the radula to scrape algae off rocks. Snails and slugs eat plants and fruit. On the other hand, an octopus can go after prey as large as a shark. How fearless! Mollusks are mostly active at night. In fact, octopuses stay in the deep parts of the ocean during the day. At dawn and dusk, they swim closer to the surface looking for something to eat. How do they reproduce? Most, most mollusks reproduce by laying eggs but some have their young like us. There could be one egg, several eggs, or thousands of eggs. Others hatch in a form called larvae. Larvae are worm-like creatures that look very different from their parents. Mollusks mostly help humans and also other animals by providing us with food and also for jewelry and decorations. They are also used in some scientific studies. So learners, now we've learned about some of the animals that provide us with very delicious food. That is all for now. I hope you learned something today. Have a nice day.